All right. <clears throat> okay. I think we're just gonna go ahead. I'll just go ahead and start it right now. Okay. <clears throat> okay. So, I'm Smart Alec 624. This is Michael Jordan Chaos in the Windy City. Um, I'm gonna do a beginner tutorial for this game, uh, just in case there are people that are maybe they're intimidated by the game or whatever, or if they just have never played it before and want to get into it. Hopefully this will help you out. So anyways, um, I'll go through everything uh, as best as I can. And we do have the world record holder in chat, Bert Sasquatch. So if you see something that he posts in chat, um, then definitely pay attention to that. But anyways, um, so I'll go ahead and just get started here. So get used to pressing start a lot because that's how you go into the levels in this game is you the only button that works is start so that's what you'll use to start the game so when you you'll be on start hit start that's where your timer will begin your timer begins there when you see this cutscene just press start again and it skips it start again and then one last time and now we're in cells one it's showtime it's showtime okay I'm going to go over controls right quick, and then I'll go over some concepts. Um, and then if there's something that I need to explain along the way, I'll take care of that. <clears throat> Excuse me. But anyways, D-pad, move around. You can duck, all that fun stuff. B is jump. A is to uh, activate switches or to use a key on something. Uh, pressing Y throws a basketball. And then pressing X is dunk. So you can dunk in this game, which is another jump. So that's regular jump, that's dunk. So you can do something like that. Um, <clears throat> there are a couple other controls in this game as well. R button switches the types of basketballs you have, which I'll talk about later. The select button switches the types of keys you're holding. And L, if you hold down L, you sprint. So let me take this guy out right quick. So. This is me, so this is me not holding L. This is just me going. This is me holding L. So, you definitely want to be holding L throughout this entire game. It can sometimes be a little bit of a pain, but uh, I found that just the more I play it, the, like, the more natural it feels, I guess. But uh, anyways, um, let me think here. Okay, yeah, so... When you're running, or when you're not, when you're just, when you're not holding L, this is as much of a jump as you can get. But if you're holding L, you can flip. And flipping, you will cover uh, higher ground that way. Don't worry that I'm taking damage. I might actually take a death on purpose. Um, so, there are some places with this route anyway that you definitely are going to want to use. Uh, <laughs> Uh, flip is what I call it So anyways, um, I'm actually gonna go ahead and just take a death that way. I can explain this part easier. Actually. No, I'll just reset This little intro cutscene you can skip by just pressing start you don't have to see the EA logo so start That first start is where your timer begins All right there are some concepts here and there that I'll go over once we get to it. But anyways, you're gonna... As soon as you spawn in this level, like as soon as you spawn, just throw a bunch of basketballs and you'll kill the zombie that's over here. And then what you're gonna do is you need to jump and get these keys. It doesn't really matter how you get them, just get them. Um, don't... Uh, hang on a second. So you like, you get the keys, take damage there, it doesn't really matter. I just killed him just to show something off. But anyways, when you get here, press A, and you're going to unlock the captive. So this is the only captive in the any percent route that we save. And 100% you save all of them, but any percent, which is what I'm doing, this is the only one you have to save. So what you're going to do here is you're going to press B to skip that prompt. Then you're going to press up, and that scrolls to the bottom, then press B again, and he'll disappear. Um... So again, once you free him, just B up B, and you'll get out of there. And you need this green key. So anyways, I should probably explain ladders a bit. They're a little weird. Um, 
you just need to hold up. Or if you're jumping and then you are holding up before it. Actually, hang on a second. Yeah. If you're holding like upright, for example, you'll grab on like that. Ladders are very finicky in this game. But anyways, you're going to flip over here, do this. And then what I like to do, I'm going to show you a couple ways you can do this. So you need to get up here like that. Um, this elevator is really slow. I mean, you could, if you if you really wanted to, you could use the key that would bring the elevator down. Well, actually, you do need the elevator, but jumping up there is faster. I'm going to take this guy out. Some of the stuff I'm going over might be self-explanatory for you, but I'm just going over as many things as I can. But um, it's important you're holding L because you can get that first jump that way. But you need to have a flip here to get up like that. But anyways, just get up here. And then up here, let me take him out. So there's a switch that you need to hit with a basketball. So what I like to do is I just like to throw a bunch of basketballs like that. So I got it. Um, there's also an eyeball here, but one of the basketballs should hit it. So if you miss the switch or if you don't get it or whatever, you can just go over here, throw a basketball. Um... You can either just ride the elevator up. Hang on a second. You can ride the elevator up, or you can jump on the elevator and then jump again. I'll sh I'll try to show that off. Okay, that's on a good cycle. So you can do that. That's much faster if you can if you can pull it off. So you need to dunk this goal to get the red key. This first goal that you get, or that shows up after the elevator, you need to hit that. Hang on. Look off the screen. So usually when I get that. Um, I should probably explain taking damage. Hang on a second. So, if you... Okay, so I took, I took like, damage while running on the ground. When you do that, Michael stops. But if you take damage like that, like, if you jump into an enemy or jump out of an enemy, if that makes sense, then, uh, you don't lose any momentum. So... I'm not going to explain this edge clip, it only saves a second, and plus there are edge clips that are more important anyway. But anyways, ride this down, kill these guys if you want to. Um, you can if you want. If you just do that, the basketball will still clip the eyeball. But anyways, hit this guy. You can kill him if you want. I usually don't because I usually just damage boost. Hit that switch, hit the eyeball. You can kill him if you want, but what you're going to do is you're going to flip here, flip, hold up, you're out of the first level. I don't think there's anything else I really need to explain there. Nothing. I mean, this is a beginner tutorial, so. Okay. Cells 2. Unfortunately, this is probably the worst level in the game, but that's okay. I'm going to show you a couple ways you can get out of it. So what I like to do, or tell you what, I have to, if I want to start select out, I have to beat the level. So when I spawn, I do the same thing. I throw three basketballs and kill that zombie. And then I like to, that's not what I like to do. I jump up here like that, and then I jump over the spider. If you're flipping, excuse me, and you have enough momentum, you can jump over that spider. You won't take as much damage. If you can, grab these flame balls. Let me go back. Oh, well, actually, can I even... I'm sure you can make that back. But get those flame balls. Okay, there we go. If you want to jump out like that, you can do that. If you miss them, don't worry. It's not a huge deal. But anyways, drop down here. You're going to drop again, and just keep holding L. And you're gonna just damage boost through all of that. So this trampoline, you need to just hold L and right. That's all you have to hold, and you'll make it over here every time. Um, I tell you what, I'm gonna take a death so I can show some other stuff, and plus I can go over that again. There are some levels in this tutorial that will go by really fast. If you take damage somewhere in there, don't worry about it. Just keep going. And then drop here, jump. And then just hold L and right. You've got to have momentum to be able to cross that. Now here you have two options. You can either throw a basketball and have this elevator come down. That's one option. Or the slightly faster option, you can jump over there and then flip up here. If you flip up there, get that heart. And that replenishes your that replenishes all your health. Okay. Um so this basketball that i have is we don't really have a name for it i guess i guess it's a bomb ball but um you can see i'm using r to switch the type of basketballs i'm holding so when you get that bomb ball 
grab it, and then, so let me just pretend I grabbed it. So you grab it, then press R again, and then normally I don't have the purple basketball as I picked them up. But anyways, throw two flame balls at this. If you don't have flame balls or anything, just keep throwing basketballs until the wall breaks. Okay. Um, you're gonna flip here. If you want to ride one of these down, oh, okay. I should have gotten the checkpoint, that's fine. So there's a jump you have to make there. Um, basically, what we're doing in this level is we're going to skip a key entirely. I guess I can show off the level with the key in case you're having trouble. This is, it's, what we're doing is probably the worst strat in the entire game, but it saves a lot of time. So, anyways, do that. Grab that. If you jump like that and then fall off, I meant fall off earlier, fall off that first elevator when you land on it and you'll land there, take a hit, don't worry about it. Um, okay. Let me take this one and that one out. Okay. So what the game wants you to do is they want you to get a red key and then use that and then grab a lever, which you can still do and I'll do it after this in case you are struggling. However, there is a jump. Backup strats for controllers with input delay. If you're if you're having, hmm, I'd say if you if input delay is an issue, I'll try to show some strats that will help out, or at least should make things easier. But I would say try the strats that I do, or that I'm gonna show. So, anyways, what you need to do here is you've got to flip off the very edge of this platform. It is very precise, and you have to flip. So you need to be holding L. If you miss, you can just go back and try again. It's very easy to fall in the pit. Okay, so I got it right there. So you need to flip on the edge of that platform to get up here, and that skips having to use the red key. When you get on this platform, keep holding L and jump here. And then you need to throw a basketball at this switch. Um, I'm gonna show something when I respawn here, because I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go through that level again, and I can start select out of it. Okay, so you might have noticed I threw two basketballs really quickly. If you like, I guess you can mash if you want, but basically. You can throw a bunch of basketballs out at a time. You can even like throw two and then quickly turn around and go back and throw two more. That'll be useful on stuff like the final boss, for example. But yeah, just in, like if you see a switch or something and you need to throw a bunch of basketballs, you can just like throw a bunch there. But anyways, I'm going to show you how to get through this level or I'm going to show you the alternate strat. If you can't get that jump, Again, you have to jump. I don't I don't know if it's pixel perfect or anything, but it is very precise. So if you can't do it, don't worry about it. So the way you get out of this level is you go over here, grab the key, and then you can drop down like that. And then you can either do the jump. Well, if you don't have the if you get the key, then don't do the jump. Do one or the other. Then you'll drop here, hold L, jump here. Keep holding L and you'll get up there. So I guess it doesn't really save that much time. So if you're struggling on that jump, just get the red key. It'll only lose you a few seconds. But anyways, that's how you get out of the level if, in case you can't get that jump. Cell's 2 jump is probably the worst strat in the game, but it saves time, so. Okay. Oops. Again, you have to use start to go into the levels. You can't use A or B or any other buttons. So here, same thing, keep throwing basketballs. Don't worry about that. All right, you'll see those baseballs in the corner there. You want to, yeah, yeah, that actually does save less than I thought as well. Um, if you get it first try, it definitely saves time, but that saves less than I thought. So anyways, the bat, the baseballs up here, you want to jump into the corner and grab. You want to grab those baseballs and then switch back to normal. This is kind of a weird mechanic in that if you want to, like, to scroll through your basketballs, you have to just press R. You can't, like, go left or right or whatever. All right, I'm going to show you two ways you can do this next section. So I'm going to go over edge clipping right now. 
So what you there's this really here, let me do it on this edge first just to show you what it looks like. Okay, that's what an edge clip looks like. So basically, when Michael is like this, he's standing on an edge, I'm not holding anything. He will eventually fall off if you're on an edge. Now, if you're on an edge and you turn around, you go like that. So basically what we're doing, or what we're going to attempt to do, is get Michael to start that animation, but we're going to have him face the wrong way. And for some reason it just puts him through, because essentially the game thinks he's standing on an edge and it needs to move you down. So you can clip through floors, which there's one level we skip entirely with this method. So the way we do this is when you get to an edge, it might be easier if I do this with controller cam, I'm not. Hmm. Let me explain it, and then if I can't do it, I'll put the camera on me. So anyways, you're going to go over here, throw a basketball, and then as you're throwing, as the basketball is going out, start holding the opposite direction. So because this edge is on the right, I'm holding... Okay, now I'm holding left. So I throw the basketball, then I hold left. Hold left. Hold left. Like that. I'd say mess around with this just for a little bit, just so that you understand the idea. But anyways... You're going to clip through like that. If you can't get that one, there's another clip you can do as well, which I'll, I'll explain right now. And it's called the... We call it the ceiling clip. Right here, it's not very a good example, but there are a couple later on that I'll show off that are really good examples. So, if you hold up and jump, Michael does that. He holds on. Like, he'll put his hand up. That's how you're able to grab the handle in the last level. What's up, Ash? But anyways, um, if you throw a basketball doing this, Michael's hitbox is a lot bigger. And so the game repositions him. And in this case, he clips through the floor. So if I do this, I'm not going anywhere. But if I jump and then throw a basketball, I clip through like that. So you just hold up. I usually kind of, the way I'm doing it is I'm hitting B and then hitting Y a couple frames after and you clipped it like that anyways um edge clipping i'll explain a bit more later and i guess the same can be said for the other so anyways however you get through it just clip through you'll end up here go down here you're gonna dunk right here dunk right there and then you can dunk there as well that's fine you either dunk or you can fall um well i'm gonna go through the level again later so okay I'm going to show you another glitch here. I'm just going to go ahead and explain it now. So, <sighs> baseball, the way baseballs work is that when you throw them out, they come back to you. And they'll hit anything that it, like, if it touches an enemy, a key, anything, it's going to hit it. So, the way this, <laughs> there's actually a way we can abuse that mechanic. So, if you throw a bas if you throw a baseball, then jump. Okay, so I, technically I threw it but then I jumped right after. So right now, the game thinks the baseball is out, and so the this only works on the baseball and the bowling balls, which we'll see later. But the baseball, if it touches any, if it touches an enemy, it's going to attack the enemy, because the game thinks that the baseball is out. It thinks it's out of its hand, out of Michael's hand, but it's not. So if I touch this enemy like that, he's dead. He's not supposed to die like that. So, and the way this cancels out is if you throw the baseball. So you don't want to throw it. Don't don't throw it again once you get it. So when you have that trick, go down here and just duck. And you'll kill that spider. Um, I'm going to go through the level again just to kind of explain stuff. But anyways, you'll hit this button. You can switch the type of basketball here. And then get up here. And then fall right here. You have a couple of different options. This water is going to push you. If you want to kill that guy, uh oh, okay, that's fine. We're going to go through the level again. I forgot. <laughs> you take two hits on the electricity. So if you want to kill the zombie and then jump across, you can do that. Or if you want to damage boost through him, just however, however you want to do that. So anyways, I'll go through the whole thing now. Oops. Okay. So sometimes what will happen is we call it the walking on air glitch. Sometimes if you try to edge clip and you're too far, then, uh, you'll you'll be walking on air and unfortunately it's useless that glitch is actually 
that's what led to figuring this one out. So anyways, you're going to dunk here, and then you can just fall there. You don't have to dunk again. Switch to your baseball. You're going to... So basically what I'm doing is I'm pressing Y and then pressing B a couple frames after that. Basically, like right there, that's too slow. So like that's too... If basically, if the ball leaves your hand... If you see Michael kind of put his hand back and then you jump, that means you got it. That means you got it. So then, duck. Let me explain something right quick. These goals are checkpoints. So if I get this checkpoint and then I die, I'm just going to respawn here. So if you need to hit checkpoints throughout the levels, hit those. I'll point those out as we go. Or I'll try to. You'll use this. You can throw basketballs and kill this guy if you want, and then that saves you taking one hit. Yes, yes, that's correct. What Bert said. It has to be a running or walking throw animation. If you're standing still and doing it, it doesn't work. I'm also kind of low on lives already because I keep dying trying to explain stuff. Ugh. Those floors will break, so if you want to wait on the floor, you can. And then this is the end of the level. So you could like fall down here and then do that. There we go. Um, if you if you if if you hit the zombie and you stand still, keep going and just jump as soon as you get a chance, and you should make it over. All right, I only have two lives left, but that doesn't really matter. It's fine. Um, I'm not gonna show off the purple basketball strat that was found because that's still relatively new. Um, I will explain ladder climbing. So, if you want, you can just do this. That's fine. If you're a beginner, I don't blame you if you do that. However, if you're holding up and either left or right of password of all nines, okay, let me. I'll do that after I. I'll do that uh, after I complete cells. So, if you're holding up and then you uh, press, and then if you hold up left and or if you give me a second if you hold up and left or up and right and then you jump you'll jump off like that if you're holding just a direction you'll fall off to that direction i guess you could like jump off and then do that that would work too um you do not want to just hold up and then hit b because then you drop you don't go either direction so anyways, what you'll do is, if you want to kill this eyeball that's here, go ahead. But basically, get up here, get on this, oops, you don't need these keys, don't worry about them. You're going to jump across. If you don't make it, there is, actually, let me think here, maybe I will show the purple basketball strat. Okay, tell you what, I might actually use a password for this let me go ahead and do that i'm not gonna have oh let me think i can pick up baseballs later because that's well i need those i think that's all i need actually give me one quick second here oh okay sorry don't use passwords they're not allowed if you want to practice with them then they're totally fine but in a run no passwords all right, and cells is already completed for me. How convenient! I should have just done this earlier. Okay. So if you want to take him out, you can, or if you want to like jump around him, you can do that too. Ignore the health right now. Um. Okay. So that's how you get up there like that, and you want to be holding L that entire time. In fact, I might go back and show it. I could have, yeah. This game does not work with save states, unfortunately. Or, I mean, this game does not work with the game saver. So if you have a game saver, it doesn't work. You need to be holding L when you get on the ladder and when you jump off. Otherwise, you're not going to make it. You'll fall down here. If you fall down here, um, there's this really weird jump you can do. Or you can jump like that. Basically, you flip and you try to hug this corner and you can get on it. It's really difficult, though. I actually don't recommend it. Um, again, you don't need these keys. If you can't get it, there is another way to do this level, and I might show that later. Or Bert. I think Bert has a video on it. 
But anyways, you're just gonna ride this down and hit all these switches. Ride it down and just keep throwing basketballs. When you do that, if you have flame balls, which I don't because I reset, basically try to hit the... There's a wall over there. I'm actually... Should I take that... I'm gonna take this guy out just to... Okay, so you... Sorry, correction. You need to be holding L when you get on it, not when you get off. It might work with the... Oh, it might work on S, D to S, N, E, S. I don't have one of those, but that is actually good thinking. Anyways, there's a wall up there. Like, where I'm jumping above me, there's normally a wall, but I broke it off screen. If you have flame balls, that would be faster. If you can't do it, don't worry about it. Just, I'll go through the level again after I do it. Let's finish it. So you need to jump right here. That edge breaks, so you cannot stand on that edge for too long. But if you're in the center, you're fine. Grab the checkpoint if you want. And then you need to get up here. And then you can ride this elevator up, or you can navigate your way around, get on the ladder. This wall you need to break. And then I kill that zombie, and then I throw a bunch of basketballs over there to hit that eyeball. Because that eyeball comes out and hits you, and you can't see it coming. Okay. Normally, you would do this with baseballs, um, but I don't have any right now. But bowling balls work, too. So you need to use the baseballs. The baseballs will work the same. Throw the baseball and then jump and cancel that animation, and then have the baseball hit the stone warrior. I guess that's what they are. If you're low on health and you have baseballs, you can dunk baseballs, and you, it'll go through the floor, and you can hit that health if you need it. When you do that, go through here. If you didn't break this wall, break the wall. Jump across, you'll take a hit on that spider. If you're down to one HP, this spider always has health. And then you can just keep going. You can take this guy out if you want, or if you have enough health, just damage boost through him and use the key and get out. If I see some baseballs somewhere, I'll pick them up, just to make this a bit easier. Actually, let me show the alternate way to do this. But I still need baseballs. Oh, wait, here. Ignore ignore this, I'm just screwing around. Just ignore, ignore all this. Okay. I don't remember where baseballs are at in this level. I know there's some somewhere. Those are flame balls. Don't worry about the alternate strat that I'm thinking about. I might link a video later. But anyways, I'm gonna leave that spider alive. You can flip jump and go right here, which is actually, that's optimal. Oh, come on. I might explain that later if it happens again. Pretend these are baseballs. You need to use the baseball on that and get the key. And then if you want to dunk if you want to dunk the baseball and grab that heart, you can. I'm starting to think the 99 lives code I put in means that the I think that's going to mean that the um I think this health upgrade's not going to be here. But whatever, I'll, I'll explain it anyway. Okay, when you start here, just slide down all these. There's an edge clip you can do if you want, but I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to show it right now. It's not, it's not that important. Get over these platforms. The health is there. Oh, it is there? Okay. That's interesting. I'm not sure which health they take out then. Okay. So when you get up here and you drop off the handle, go over here and you need to take out this spider. If you want to do the glitch where you throw a baseball and then get on the ladder and then go up and do that, that works too. But you need these gold keys to open this door. Go in this little area here. You need to bounce twice on the first platform and then the rest you just go normal. Then 
what you can do is you can just jump up here and grab this. If you grab a gold heart, it increases your health. Normally you have four health here. I need to make that clear. Normally you have four. I might actually go through cells in a row just to kind of explain stuff or just so that we have a consist just for consistency sick. But anyways, get that health upgrade, then go back down and hit that. Now you have a couple ways you can do this part. We have something called swag strat where you do that, where you drop off and then you do that. If you can't do it, just stay on here, ride it for a bit, get over here. And then if you need to jump up here, you can. And then jump. You need to get this yellow key. Then when you get here, press select to switch your key. Use the green key on that. As the elevator's coming down, switch again to your yellow key. And you'll use the yellow key here. <coughs> Excuse me. After this, I'm gonna start over and go through cells entirely. And plus I wanna make sure I didn't miss anything. All right, so grab that bomb ball, then press R to go to your basketballs. Then with your baseballs, get that little glitch. I don't know what we call it, I guess it's... There used to be a glitch that was that was called inventory glitch, but it, it's not really used anymore. When you see this text, mash B, throw cancel. That's, yeah, that's a good name. I like that, throw canceling. So then there's this basketball boss that spawns. The ba the baseball the baseball needs to hit his head. Anywhere else it doesn't work. So you need to be jumping. Normally there's music that plays here. Oh, there we go. You just need to jump and the baseball needs to hit his head. Like that. It just it needs to hit his head. When you then grab the key card, you're out of cells. Now, I'm actually going to go through cells again just so that we just for consistency's sake, and plus, you can see some of the strats in action. I'm not. Oh, I'll try. I'll, I'll get the red key, but then I'll try the jump in cells too. So, anyways, timer starts there. Once you press start, hit start here. Just mash start. It's showtime. As soon as you spawn, throw basketballs. Grab these keys. You can jump over that spider, or kill him, or just run through him, it doesn't really matter. B, up and B. A on that, on the elevator, you can do that. Keep throwing, get up there, or you can just ride the elevator if you're not comfortable with that. There is an edge clip right there. Um, I missed it because I just randomly tried it. There is an edge clip there though that saves about a second. If you're a beginner, don't worry about it. That one's not important. Strats that save like one second or so, don't don't worry about doing those right now. There are videos on those as well, so it's it's, it's not like there's no resources for those. It's just I want to try to make this as beginner friendly as I can. All right, so I'm gonna get the red key, but then I'll try that jump anyway. Something I probably should have pointed out which I'm glad I'm going back and doing this. First of all, let me break this. You can use your flame balls on that too. The checkpoint's right here. So if you want to try the jump, or if you just want to practice, and you like are struggling, whatever, there's a checkpoint right there. So get that if you need to. Oops. I'm not used to doing this route, so I'm kind of improvising. You can do that jump and get up there, but since I missed, I'm not, I'm not even gonna bother. You need to grab this. Okay, I actually made a mistake there. Do not jump up here. That makes the jump harder. Just get on get just get on the left, hold L and right, and then go like that. Set up with OG Factory 2. No. <laughs> I'm not showing them that. Just don't don't even don't even ask what that is. Oops. If you can't get that one, remember the up clip I showed earlier. Or if you can't do it, I'm gonna I'm gonna show it off right quick. If you can't get either clip, the floor breaks. Just dunk and throw your basketballs. Throw cancel this. Hit that button. Switch out, or at least that's what I like to do. There you go.
So yeah, you can jump around if you're fast enough. There's a video that shows a faster route that saves a few more seconds, but it requires that you have purple basketballs. So I broke that wall. If you fall down all the way to the bottom, hold L and just keep jumping up. You're going to hear me say hold L a lot, probably. Throw cancel. Hit this guy. If you're low on health, hit that. If you have a full health circle, you're fine, but... Um... I recommend go ahead and go ahead and get that heart if you need it. If you're down to one health, you need it because you're gonna get hit on that spider and die. Um, that gold, this gold spider always drops health of some sort, so kill him if you need it. There's an edge clip here. I'm gonna go ahead and show you. So if you want, you can do an edge clip like that. And you can land there. That saves a second. If you can't do it, don't worry, just slide down the slopes, it's not a big deal. So you can throw cancel there if you want, and it kills the spider faster. Go in this room, keep your baseballs. If you accidentally grab those yellow ones, just switch back, it's not a big deal. You can open that, then get the heart, and then go in here, but please make sure you get that heart. Just please. Break this wall. That is the sort of swag strat. Again, if you can't do it, just stay on that elevator and just ride it down and get in the water. The water pushes you right, though, so you want to stand as far to the left on that platform as you can. When you get here, switch uh, using select. Activate that. Switch again while the elevator is coming down. Throw basketballs here to kill the bat. Otherwise, you'll take damage early. You want to activate that as soon as you can. All right. Grab that, press R, hit this, switch to baseball, get the throw cancel, just mash B here, it skips all the text. Do not press start, because you can pause, well, I'll show you. Time out. You can pause the game during that, so you don't want that. Just mash B. <clears throat> the route I'm going to show for the beginner tutorial is factory first, because I feel like it's easier. I'll explain what that is in a little bit, but anyways. You need to be hitting him in the head there. And if you have full health or close to it, you should be fine. Um, if for whatever reason you're taking a lot of damage, just run away from him. And then just get on one of these platforms, duck and keep throwing. Doing it the old school way. But anyways, that is cells. Now, the route I'm going to show you is factory first. Um, basically... It looks like on the map, I could just go right, and then go up, and then up again, and I get to the question mark area, which is the last world of the game. It doesn't work like that, though, because if I go right and then up, I go to tunnel, and tunnel, you need three key cards. That's why we need these key cards, so I have to go to the level on my right anyway. I have to go there anyway, but if you go to factory first, it only loses half a second because you have to navigate on the map a little bit more, but it is a lot safer, especially with the strats that we found. So anyways... When you finish that, go up, and you're on a train level. This is an auto-scroller. There's nothing you can do to speed it up. Just don't die or anything like that. You can hit the paparazzi if you want. You can stock up on these basketballs if you want. Or if you just want to collect them, it's up to you. By the way, the coins don't do anything, except if you get a hundred of them, you get an extra life, but you're not going to get a hundred in, in the speed run. Like you're, just, you're not going to get a hundred. And it has to be a hundred in a level. It can't be a hundred overall. I'm going to grab some ice balls for later. We're going to need those later. Also, the bomb balls, you can only carry nine maximum. And each one, like when when you pick up a certain crap, don't worry about that. When you pick up a certain type of basketball, um, it just replenishes the kind you have, except for those bomb balls. It just adds one to what to the amount that you have. So like if I had one flame ball in my inventory and I pick up another flame ball, I go back to five. If I have three bomb balls and I pick up another one, I go to four. And the max you can have is nine of the bomb balls. So anyways, that's the train level. 
pretty easy. Nothing really complicated. And it's the same amount of time every time. There's nothing, again, nothing you can do to speed it up, slow it down. <laughs> That's why we don't have splits for trains. All right, factory. <clears throat> a few of these levels we have a lot of good strats for. Um, this first one is not one of them, though. So, oh, I thought I heard something, my bad. So you need to get over here. That is 100% strats. What am I doing? Don't worry about this goal. You don't need that. Switch to your freeze balls if you have them. And since, okay, this is kind of messed up. Hang on. If the eyeball's in a good position, which he's not, I'm gonna, I'm gonna just die. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of curious what MJ. I, I don't even know if MJ knows this game exists. I'm gonna just redo that whole thing there. So switch to your freeze balls. Don't worry if you don't get that red key. But basically, if you freeze that enemy, you can jump up here like this, and then you can jump up here like that. I might go through the level again, again, in case you can't get that. It's not a big deal. Go up here, get these switches. If you want to jump to that third switch and then fall down, you can. Um, or if you just, if for what, if you think you're gonna miss or whatever, you can just hit it. Do a throw cancel here, that way you can just jump through these eyeballs and you'll kill them. And plus, you can hit that whistle. The whistles are the worst enemy in the entire game. But anyways, doing the throw cancel. And if you have enough momentum on the ladder, you don't need to worry about using the red key. So, um, if you're running low on health, which I'm going to just show you guys anyway, there is, oops, thanks for the hose coughing, there is a heart, Time out. um, I don't have like a pointer or anything, but to the right of Michael in the wall, there's a heart there, you can throw a baseball and you can replenish your health. There's a switch here, bounce on this twice and you'll end up over here. If you're for some reason low on health, or if you didn't if you didn't grab the heart and you need health, there's one HP there. And then right here, you can either keep going and take damage on the spider, or you can kill him by hitting that uh, goal. Alright, this part right here, I recommend you take damage like that. That way, it just I don't know why, it just makes things a bit simpler. Because if you touch the green acid, if you touch the acid, you're dead. Like, there's nothing you can do about it. So I have enough health here. Run along this, flip, jump up here. You can take two hits, and then you're out. I might go through that again. And then factory two is where things will start getting a bit easier, just because we're going to be skipping a lot of chunks of the levels. Hang on. I might have this. <laughs> okay. I had to sneeze, but then it went away. Don't worry if you can't grab the red key. If you can't get the ice ball strat, first of all, you can kill him like that. Just go over here. There is a heart to my left if you want to grab that in case for some reason you take a lot of damage or if you just want the health. But anyways, you'll go over here and then you get on the platforms there. You can also do that. You can hit uh, two of those. The checkpoint's right here, so if you're low on health like I am, just hit the checkpoint. I shouldn't have survived that. Okay, I actually will not have... Actually, I don't think I'm going to have enough speed. Well, I did, but whatever. It doesn't matter. If you don't have enough speed and you have the red key, use the red key on that. If you don't have enough speed and you don't have the red key, go all the way back to the bottom, build up your speed, and then get on the ladder. <laughs> Basically, there's two ways you can get around that. All right. This level has a very significant skip that I do recommend learning, because I'm not even going to teach the rest of the level. So basically, go just go where I'm going. That doesn't really need any... Basic, don't worry about your health here. You're not going to die. You need to be right here. So if I'm, I'm holding duck right now, and okay, I thought the camera would move. But basically, the end of the level was right below me. So, you're going to edge clip. I'm going to do it again, just in case. This saves roughly 20 seconds over doing the rest of the level. And if you're bad at this level, then you'll save, you'll save more than 20 seconds, probably. You can jump through that so you don't get stunned. And then jump on this uh, escalator. Or moving ground. I don't know why I called it an escalator. Forgive me. Okay. 
But again, edge clip, you go to the edge, and you before Michael goes into that animation, you need to throw a basketball and then hold the opposite direction. Like that. And then you can get out. If you want to take the beginning a little safer, just so you have enough health, that way you don't die on the whistle or anything, that's fine too. But yeah, I'm not even going to teach the rest of the level because it's just not worth doing. Like, just don't learn ed learn how to do the edge clip and do that. Alright, Factory 3 is pretty broken as well. Do I have gold basketballs? Hang on. Okay, I do. Alright, there are a couple of options you have here. First of all, use the baseball and grab this key. Wait. Actually, we don't need that key anymore. I'm going to grab it just in case, but you don't need that key, I don't think. Okay. There's a clip here you can do. Like that. You can go between the acid pit and the moving platform. If you can't get that, don't worry. It's not a big deal. Um, it's not required or anything. Okay. You need the green key if you can't get the strat that I'm about to show. So, I'm going to go I'm going to waste one of these and hopefully it'll <laughs> Okay, so when you dunk a gold basketball, they split up and then they hit stuff around the enemies. For some bizarre reason, these can actually go through walls. And the valve that you need to hit... Okay, I hit it. So, you're supposed to hit valves throughout the levels. So, okay, the thing that's right above that gold basketball on the left, you need to hit those. And um, there's a way to hit that valve to lower the acid. And we're almost out of the level, actually. There's one more valve you need to hit there. When you get on this ladder, press B and then hold up again. Um, and then there's platforms here. If you want to take all those eyes out in case you're worried about health or anything, go ahead. Okay. We'll tell you what, that's the first way you get through it. I'm going to show you the alternate way. Because there's still a way you can get through it fairly quickly. So... I just have to remember how to do it. So you'll baseball here. If you can't get this clip or if you are struggling with it or whatever, just go this way. You can actually restock on baseballs there. And what you're going to do is you're going to make sure you have your baseball hit that. And you'll end up down here. You need another baseball to hit this. And you can go through like that. That's another quick way to get through it. And then right here, you can do the same, a similar concept to what we do in the first level. You uh, throw the basketballs to, uh, or you're trying to hit a valve this time. There is a heart here, however, the platform breaks. So if you want it, you can get it, but that ground does break. So anyways, let me beat the level now. Actually, I might have to, yeah, I'm going to have to hit this again because I wasted too much time. Okay. Normally you won't have to do that, but because I wasted too much time. Go here and hold- oh man, really? Okay. When you're on that slope, hold left so that you don't slide as fast. And then that'll give you enough time to jump to the platform. Alright, I'm just going to go through the level now. I think I've explained everything that needs explained. If you can't get this, don't worry. Just get the green key, hit this door, go all the way to the right, use the baseball on the valve that I showed you. And then, yeah. That is kind of an advanced strat now that I'm thinking about it, but again, I've showed I've showed an, another way you can do it. Just pick whichever one is more comfortable to you. It's probably going to be the baseball option, though. But anyways, you'll jump on those platforms and you'll get out. Alright, Factory 4 is the easiest level in the game. You're going to do an edge clip to go through pretty much everything. Jump here. This platform, this this pushes you the, to the right, so you want to jump there. Alright. So you're going to move the elevator down and then keep dropping until you see this. Like where the red key icon is. Um, if Well, I'm not going to do that. But anyways, you're going to edge clip. This one's a bit tricky. You don't have that much room to maneuver, but you can still you can still do it. I got it. Okay. When you get here, go to the left, go on this elevator. Yeah, this used to be one of the hardest levels in the game, but now it's free. And yeah, you're out of the level. I'm going to show that again. 
Oops. I accidentally went to factory. Hang on, how many lives do I have? How many lives do I have? Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna die on purpose. Don't worry about any of this. You'll see this later. I want to go back and show this again. I guess I could have done factory five and then gone back, but whatever. I don't want to make this tutorial too long, but I also don't want to like. I don't want, I don't want to go so fast that it's confusing. So anyways, ride the elevator down, fall all the way. If you're missing the edge clip a lot. Yeah, like if you're struggling with this and you end up okay i got it but if you're if you miss it and you fall to the left and on the ground again and that red guy is bothering you get in the red guy's hitbox and just throw basketballs and you'll kill him but anyways edge clip there ride the elevator up and then if you want to jump off early you can do that um or if you just want to wait until it goes all the way up that's fine too okay factory five so there's a reason. There's another reason I'm showing Factory first. Well, this is actually the main reason I'm going to show it. There is a health. There's another health upgrade that optimally you want to skip, but I'm going to uh, I'm going to show. Um, I'm going to show you where it is anyway. So you need to jump over that acid pit. This guy you need to kill. So if you want to do that and kill him, that's fine. Yeah. So hang on a second. Let me. Sh there is an edge clip in this level, so I'll sh when I when I get there, I'll explain it again. But anyways, um, when you kill, you need to kill that guy and get the silver keys. Bounce twice, and then bounce once, and then hold left, and go in here. If you're a beginner, I recommend you get this. You can get an extra life there, and then get a gold heart, then leave. All right. So now what you're gonna do is you're going to go back to where that guy was. You're going to go back to where he was, which he was standing right here. So, edge clip, I'll explain again since I'm, since a couple of people are asking. What you're doing is, okay, when Michael's, hang on a second, let me take this guy out, he's bothering me. Okay. When you're standing on an edge like this, he does that animation, and then eventually he just falls on his own. What we're doing is we're tricking the game into having Michael face the wrong way, and if Michael's on an edge, the game has to like push him off basically so um they're basically we're turning around we're t we're turning michael around and then we're clipping through or like we're falling off an edge the wrong way if that makes sense so when you throw a basketball like that you clip through like that you throw basically you throw a basketball um let me do it on this head actually yeah just for explanation purposes i'm gonna go up here so, you, <clears throat> excuse me, you're, it's sort of like throw canceling. You're throwing, and you're canceling an animation. And you clip through. Yeah, so you're interrupting the animation. This is, this is one thing I highly recommend you learn, because then you don't have to worry about Factory 4 and most of Factory 2. And in this case, most of Factory 5. So, I already did it, but the guy that had the silver keys, go to the platform that he was standing on. It's more like buffering. Yeah. I guess in a way, yeah. So anyways, when you kill the guy, and the guy that had the silver keys, go back to the platform he was standing on an edge clip there. And you'll fall down here with these saws. You're going to do something a bit different. You're going to go to the left. This is actually going backwards. But right below me, you see these three types of basketballs? If you go left, you go to the boss of this level. So if you remember the up clip where you do an up jump and then throw a basketball, get underneath this yellow thing here, like underneath this. If you do it here, it's not going to work because you'll go up. And if you do it too far this way, in fact, I'm going to show you why you shouldn't do it this way because then you're gonna end up there. But if you get far to the left here, do an up clip, you'll get pushed on this wall and you'll clip through here. Stock up on these if you want, then get either the bowling ball or the baseball. I don't really think it matters, but just get one of them. Do the throw cancel. Now this boss, the only part that you can hit is the green part and you just need to jump and just hit him as much as you can. If he attacks, just get out of the way. And yeah, that's it. 
You can hold right while in the wall to avoid flying to the right. Interesting. Huh. This key card takes a little bit to come down, so if you don't see a key card immediately, don't don't worry. It's fine. So yeah, that is factory. I'm wondering if I if there's anything I forgot to explain. I don't think so. But yeah, it I th that's the reason I recommend factory first is because factory five has a health upgrade, and you I'd rather you have more health going into lab because the health upgrade in lab, I'm going to show you both way. I'm going to show you the meth the fastest method to get through. And then if you can't get that, the method I'm going to show you then is it has the health upgrade in the route. So anyways, when you complete factory, go to the right and go to the train. Do not go up to tunnel. You're not going to beat the level because you don't have all the key cards. And right now we don't have a way to skip uh, doors or like skip through stuff like that. That would eliminate either lab or factory. It would probably eliminate lab. That's longer than factory because factory is free now. But yeah, it's another train level. It's like the other one. Yeah, stock up on what you need. You need to have some baseballs and freeze balls. You need the freeze balls for something later. <laughs> Yeah, just go through this. It's not really an issue. <sighs> Make sure... I think normally you have... I think with this route, you normally will have probably four bomb balls. I accidentally threw one earlier in the first train level, but that's okay. Alright. When you see a screen like that, press start, by the way. And it uh, goes through faster. I probably should have said that earlier. When you see the... The I, I don't remember what it's called, but when you see that, then hit start and it skips it, it quits out of it faster. Okay, lab. All right. Um, it's showtime. It's showtime. Okay, the first half of this is a bit tricky, but then the second half is free as long as you keep moving. So what you're gonna do is jump over this guy, and then this jump is a bit precise. It's not it's not like the cells two jump, but it is somewhat precise. And because I missed it twice, I'm gonna do that. And I'm gonna take this guy out just just so I can show you. You don't need these keys. Don't grab them. You don't need them. Wow, I'm actually messing this up. Come on. So you you need to jump off the edge here. It skips a big section. There you go. Practice that a few times. Like, yeah, <laughs> that's basically it. just practice it a few times and you'll get it. That's just health. You don't need that. And then get on this ladder. You're going to jump up here. You, So you can't actually make this jump. However, if you have your momentum... Whoa. You can, like, flip around. And then when you get right here, just jump three times. Or flip three times, rather. And you can get up there very fast. I would just... I'm not going to go back and explain that again. Just if you need it... If you need to see it again, just go back in the video or something. You don't need that red key either. All right, but anyways, what you're going to do, you need to have at least one and a half uh, health. So right now I have four. You need to have at least one and a half for this to work. You need to drop, get these shoes. That's invincibility. And then you're just going to fall right here into this elevator. Or you'll get in the elevator and just run, and you're out. I, sh I don't think there's anything else I really have to explain. Just make sure you drop, get the shoes, that's invincibility, ride the elevator, drop to the right, ride the elevator, and get out. I don't think I need to explain that any further. Um, Alright, you're going to jump over that guy and get on this ladder. You're going to, on this second thing, drop, and then jump like that. That's safe, if you want to do it that way. Ride these elevators in this order. Okay, I probably should have explained that. Um, actually, I don't even remember. For being honest, I don't even remember where the red key is. I think it's in the goal right below me. You can get that if you want, but I don't really recommend it. Or you can just take damage here. If you don't want to take damage again, hit that switch and that kills the electricity up top. Oh, okay. Um, and then just get through here. 
Kill this guy, because he has health. Call this elevator down and then go up. Oh, red key's far out of the way. Okay. Alright. This goal also has health. I think this has Wheaties. Yeah. Okay. So right here, you're going to dunk off of this. And then when you get the heart, jump up here Jump up here like that. Grab this green key. And then go back. Because it, you're going to have your health replenished. I'm going to go through this level one more time after this. Then you're going to throw a freeze ball there. And you can throw a second one there if you want. But I highly recommend you do that on the first guy at least. And get out of here. I'm going to go do that level again. I don't think I explained anything very well. There aren't too many strats in lab. Or at least, like, really fast strats. Except for lab 5. But yeah, if you're fast, you can get up here before the electricity even hits you. And then you can shut that off if you want, or you can jump through it. Pick your poison. Hit that elevator. You can damage boost through the zombie if you want. If you want the health, you can grab it in that basket or just go. You can duck there if, you, if you're worried about health. Or you can just let that guy hit you. It really doesn't... It doesn't matter too much. But just... Whatever you're comfortable with. And then you can adapt as you go. Freeze that guy. You can damage boost through that guy if you want. I need to explain something here right quick. Before I finish the level. Okay. These guys, when they extend their claw out, if you're holding a basketball that is not the, like, Timeout. I'm holding the standard basketball right now. If I'm holding the bomb balls, for example, and he grabs it, or if he hits me with the claw, I lose all of that basketball type. So please be careful about that. It, if you want to kill him, you can. It's fine. But just keep that in mind. <laughs> um, I actually lost a run one time because I had the ice balls out, and I needed those for lap 5, and I got hit by one of those guys. Alright, lap 3. Okay. You're going to ride this first elevator. While you're in the elevator, switch to your baseballs and get that red key. That'll save you some platforming. Hit this, get, Kill this guy if you want, or just get in the elevator. If you're fast, you can get in that ele If you're fast, you can get in that elevator before he even attacks. But if he does attack and you want health, kill him. Did I forget something? I don't think I did. Okay. So, I sort of just jumped through there. You can just fall through the electricity there. And then, yeah. Not really too much to explain. Just fall there. Make sure you don't fall into the pit. There's a checkpoint here if you want to get it. You have a couple options here. You can either hit all the switches like that, or if you have enough momentum, you can actually jump from that ladder to this one, I believe. I might, I might be wrong. Hang on, give me one second. I don't want to... Let me... Or no, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I made a mistake there. You can't jump from that ladder to there. You need to bounce on this at least once. And you can either damage boost through that or hit all of these. So you're going to get attacked by a spinning guy first. Normally he's a bit more to the left, but because I was waiting. And he'll always drop baseballs, and then you can switch to your freeze balls and... Oops. Freeze him like that. Time out. These red walls... Or I, I don't know what they are, but they deal one full health, or they deal one full damage. So uh, be cautious about those. There aren't too many in the game you have to worry about. But anyways, get down here, and if you need to kill the guy down here, duck and kill him. Ride this elevator, and then if you want to kill this guy, go for it. Or you can just like go past him. Be careful about this because. If you go too far to the right, the whistle will hit you. But you need the yellow key, then go back to the left, and you're out. <clears throat> Excuse me. Of course, the best time to do a tutorial is when my throat is a bit sore. <laughs> okay. Right here, just jump over that guy. Get up here. Just jump a bunch through that. And then, if you want to wait on the electricity, that's totally fine. Or if you want to try to beat it, that's fine. If you need freeze balls pick them up here because you actually the strat that I'm going to show in the next level that's fast um, you need the freeze balls and then uh, you can take damage through there or if you can hit the switch go up here grab the green key now this is a bit weird oops 
there's invincibility shoes above the yellow platform. What we're going to do is we're going to... Sorry, this platform is on a different cycle. Because I stood here like a moron. Basically, you're going to get the invincibility shoes. It just will make life a bit easier. So you'll grab them like that. And then if you want health, go ahead. Use the green key. Flip up here. You can do a normal jump, but it's easier to flip. Grab this red key up here. Take the elevator down. Get up these platforms. And then don't don't take those up there that I'm throwing a basketball at. Don't go up that way. Alright, so then here... You have two options, you can do that. You can like slide and then duck. But if you can't do that, just duck and hit that. And the wall gets out of the way. It only saves a little bit of time. This guy can... Okay, so he dropped Wheaties that time. Sometimes he drops hearts, but it's not very often. I might actually die here. Okay. Let me, let me do something right quick. Okay, so you can use the A button to hit switches as well. So you can fall off this platform and hit the switch, like that. And then if you do that, if you don't have enough health, like in my case I didn't have enough health, if you don't have enough, if you have enough health, just damage boost through it. You need one full health, or one and a half full health. One and a half health, sorry. I, sometimes I speak English, but it's not often. So go down here and you'll get the invincibility. And then normally you can just fall uh, through that electricity as well and get an extra life, but since I was slow once again, not do that. So I'll just do the normal thing here. And then if you still have invincibility, you can just jump uh, and do that, but I'm not even going to bother. I'm just going to... I just want to get out of the level. Um, yeah, I think that's all I need to explain. So then use the yellow key there and you can get out of the level. I don't know if I need to go back and explain anything there. Okay, tell you what. I'm going to go through it again. There's actually there's something I do want to explain, actually. Because this is a setup for the next stage. Okay. I'm going to show... This is only if you're going to do the optimal strat for Lab 5. If you're not going to do it, if you're not comfortable doing it yet, don't worry about it. Wow. Wow. I haven't taken that much damage at the beginning in a long time. When you get to the stone warrior that's up here, or not up here, but uh, when you get off the ladders, there's a stone warrior. Where those walls are. Oops, okay, baseballs cannot hit switches, by the way. Fun fact. Wow. Alright. Oh, I should have gotten the checkpoint at least. I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, I'm just going to do this. Basically, if you can end this level with all your baseballs gone, do it. Because then that saves you some time on wow. lap 5. I'm going to show you both ways to go through this level. I haven't done the old method in a long time though, so forgive me if I struggle with that. But basically, if you still have baseballs, waste all your baseballs right here. You need to waste all of them. Okay, so what you're going to do is just, there is a there's a there's an enemy that what you can do is you can hit him twice and then freeze him as he's in the air taking damage. And then you can do two flip jumps or like a flip you can do a flip onto him and then do an up jump and you can clip through and you'll make it to the end of the level so i'm gonna try to demonstrate that now like that okay time out. Time out. he needs the enemy when you freeze him he needs to be at least this high because if he's lower or if, he, if you if you freeze him first you can't make the jump up there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip onto him, and then I'm going to do an up jump. Like that. And I can clip through. And then you can just take damage there. Hit the switch. When you do that, get the invincibility shoes. Use the baseball or the bowling ball and get up here. I'm going to show you the other way in case if... if 
If that is a problem, don't worry. I've got another way to do it. Or another way to get out of this level. You have to hit that guy in the head. The, the green head. And then go back left and you can grab the key card. I'm going to go back to lab 5 and show you the alternate way. If that... If you're struggling with that clip, or if you miss it and you don't want to try... Well, here's the thing. If you miss it, um, I think it's faster to... It might be faster to die and try again if you have enough freeze balls to be able to do it. But if not, then you can either reset, or if you want to complete runs... Um, give me one second. Or actually, ignore what I'm doing right here. I'm just going to restock on base balls. This is going to be for people that do not attempt the strat at all, which is fine. It's hard. Have I mentioned this game is hard? I don't think I have. But anyways, when you get a baseball, as soon as you spawn, dunk a baseball and you can get the silver keys that way. If you can't do that, just ride the second elevator and then go down. However, you do have to deal with this jerk. What's in there? Oh. <laughs> Excuse me. But anyways, get the silver keys, then go to the third elevator. You need to unlock this door and get the green key. Hang on. Okay, there's health in that goal if you need it. Alright. Take that whistle out if you can. But you need to use the green key on that. Ride this down. This is a bit tricky, but you need to... Oh. Alright, that's like the hardest strat in the entire game. Oh, I'm down to one life. Okay. That's okay. If I screw if I screw up, I do have a password that allows me to have all the levels beaten except Riverview. Just a side note, there is no password in this game that exists as far as I know that has Riverview beaten. If you beat Riverview, like your game is done. So anyways, grab the green key. I'm also going to show you where the where a third bonus room is if you want more health for the end. You don't exactly need it, but I don't I mean I don't know. You can just duck there and then just hold L and right there and you'll fall like that and you'll make it every time, don't worry. Okay. You can't really see it, but behind the key icon on the right, there's a switch. You can hit that switch and then go up here. Since we're already doing this, I'm going to show you where this bonus room is. And this one's easy, just hold, hold Ellen right. And that'll upgrade, that'll give you max health. Again, you don't necessarily need it, however, if you're starting out and you're struggling or anything, you have that option if you need it. There's always a heart there. Um, I'm gonna, actually, it doesn't really matter that I grabbed that, but anyways. Um, now what you can do is go back to your baseball, oops, and you can baseball that red key. Oops, I didn't mean to waste that, but anyways, kill that guy, flip up here. Um, what is in this? Okay, there's health in there if you need it. And then here, just keep jumping, keep flipping rather. Until you get like a, okay. Okay. <laughs> Hang on, I can do this. I haven't, I haven't done this in a while because I'm not used to taking this route, but... Get up there like that, and then jump up there like that. If you need to slow it down a bit, that's fine. And then here you can either... This is where we clipped through earlier. This is where we ended up. If you don't want to take damage, you can throw a purple basketball, and it'll bounce off and hit the switch. I'm going to do the boss fight again just in case you missed it. There's a heart right here I'd recommend getting. Oops. Okay. Don't worry if your invincibility runs out. You don't need it. Especially if you're at 6 health like I am. <laughs> we used to get all the health upgrades because Ice Ball Clip wasn't found yet. But not even that. It was just... Uh, it just uh, Factory 5, getting that health upgrade takes the long... Ooh. It doesn't take the longest, however, it is sort of out of the way. Okay, when you get that key card, go up here to Tunnel. I'm not going to explain Tunnel that much, 
Basically, just keep jumping at the beginning. Hit that with the red key card. Keep going through. I'm going to show you something in case you are running out of health. When you grab those keys, just hit select and you'll go back to the yellow key card. If you are running out of health, if you take too much damage, or if you just want full health for this last part, free this captive because he's going to drop a heart. Free him only if you need health and if you're nervous about it or anything. Then you can just go through, keep jumping. I'm only showing you that just in case you need that option. Otherwise, go for it. And yeah, that's it. Alright. Um, I'm tempted to, pa to use a password in case I die again, sure. but that's okay. We're, we'll, we'll just go for it. Okay. Riverview is a bit different in that there's the hub world, and then there are four levels within this hub. So you're going to spawn here. You're going to jump to this whatever this thing is. Then go up here and grab this grab the gold keys that's a it's a bit finicky to get up there but just practice that a little bit and you're going to use the gold keys to go in the first river view level you only have four levels left in the game by the way Woo! okay so just get through there however you want get on this platform and then this basket you're going to grab the yellow key Get the checkpoint if you want. Now you need to hit these switches. You can hit the top one, the bottom one. The middle one is a bit tricky, but you can do it. Um, he drops health if you need it. Ride the elevator down and hit these. If you need more health, hit that with the baseball. Okay. So this skeleton will always drop baseballs if you need them. So I'd recommend you get them. Just out of curiosity. Okay. You don't need those gold keys. You don't need them. Alright, so get on this platform. Okay, if you're at full health, this should be free. If you're at... Well, even if, if you're at full health and you have 5 health, that's then you should be okay. When you get off this ladder, go left, grab the green key. Okay. What I'm going to do is, if you are on the ladder and then you jump up... Basically, there are invincibility shoes that you can't see, but they're up at the top of the ladder. You can't see them. Um... What you can do is you can either climb up and then drop down and then go, but that's a little bit slower. Um, and what I'm going to show you uh, is it's very consistent. So you're going to get on this ladder. Don't worry about that. You're going to... Okay, don't worry about that. I kind of messed it up. But anyways, get that invincibility, use the green key, and then you can do an up clip there, or you can just stand on the ground, dunk, jump, run on these spikes. And you can get out of here. And do you need to flip at the end. You can't do a regular jump. You're going to miss it. So that's Riverview 1. I kind of... I feel like I went through that a little bit too fast. But... I mean, that's... There's... The, la the ladder thing is a bit tricky. So the, those bottom spikes... Oh yeah, this is where the... Or no, that's not where the captive is, I don't think. Oh, I game over. Okay. In fact, okay, so let me... This is actually a good time to explain this. Okay, if you game over in a world, and you want to like try to finish a run or something, for whatever reason, if you go to the password screen, the password's already typed in for you. So you can just continue. So I have everything beaten except for this. When am I getting a new world record in this game? Never. Okay. So this is how much health I would have if I did the ice ball clip. So this actually will work out fine. <sighs> okay, so I took too much damage. I'm going to go through Riverview one more time. I'm not really going to explain anything, though. Because I kind of do want to... I, I do want to move this along. and Get to the rest of the game. I need to get some water at some point. 
Do not do tutorial videos when you have a sore throat. <laughs> Just don't do it. <coughs> Excuse me. Don't worry if you get hit there, it's not a big deal. If you don't have baseballs and you want that health, just go down here and do this first and then go back. I'm just showing you that just so you have an option. Plus I screwed up earlier so I kind of have to do that. Ah, oh, what? These platforms can be a little finicky so don't worry if, the, if you struggle with them. Just keep at it. Alright. There we go. If you jump up the ladder then you can get up there faster and it's... Bleh. You'll have an easier time getting this. Maybe. Okay. So you lose three health if you take damage on those spikes. So just keep that in mind. If you have enough health to where... If you're gonna run out of invincibility... If you have enough health to where you can take the damage, just take the damage and then jump when you get the chance. Okay. So when you beat that level, go left. Keep going left until you see this ladder. When you see this ladder, get on... Excuse me. Get on the left platform. Grab the keys, fall to the right. Now we can go to Riverview 2. When you start this level, the floor is going to break when you go in the middle. Switch to your baseballs and grab the invincibility. Or you can just run to the right. And then get on this platform. And then you can hop off of it if you want. Or you can ride it. But if you... If you do what I did, okay, I took some damage because I accidentally, well, I didn't quite get it, but there is a way to not take damage on those spikes. If you're worried about that, then just ride the platform. It's not a big deal. I used to do that when I was first doing runs, so it's okay. You need these silver keys. You need them. If you need health... There's that. Open this up and get the yellow key. Now before you keep going, you need to baseball this green key. If you're out of baseballs, this floor breaks. Just hit it again and you can go through and get it. I might grab the checkpoint and then die so I can get some more health so I can show some stuff off. I might, we'll see. Jump over here. Okay, unfortunately I can't show this strat off, but if you dunk a gold basketball, you'll kill those eyeballs faster and then you can get up here. These spinning platforms is the only level where you have to deal with these. But you need to time this to where you can jump off. I recommend going to the second one, then the middle, then right here. There's a checkpoint here you can, can hit. You can hit. Alright, so there's a whistle there. You can either go for it like I tried, or you can just stand on the edge and kill him. Okay. If you go underneath... I'm going to actually take a death, if that's okay. I'm going to take a death. Underneath that second platform is... You end up here. And I'm going to show you a... Uh, a... An up clip. An up jump clip, whatever. Because I think the the other way of doing this, I think, is more difficult. So I'm going to do... I'm going to show you this way. Do an up clip there, and you'll end up down here, and then just keep going that way. Keep going left. Grab that red key, you need it, and then more of these platforms. Not really much I can say, just time these as best you can. If you think you're going to fall on the spikes or something, don't even try going for it. Just take your time on it if you need to. If you are low on health, kill that guy, or just damage boost. But anyways, you can get out of that level now. Okay, if you still have baseballs, dunk there, and you'll get the uh, the keys there. Um, I believe there's a platform down here that you can use in case you don't have baseballs. Or it's on the other side, I think. Hang on one second, I want to... Okay, there, so if you don't have baseballs, the other way you get this... Which I have actually never done it this way, so forgive me if I miss this. You can do it like this. 
then you can grab the keys. Hang on. You can get more baseballs if you jump on the spring to the left of the door. Whoa, would you look at that? I actually didn't even know that was there. Thank you, Bert. So you can get baseballs like that, or you can use the platform. I recommend you get the baseballs. I had no idea those were even there. <laughs> Clearly I'm an expert in this game. No, I'm not. Okay. Um... Okay. Hang on, hang on a second. I actually need to remember something here. Okay. So, you're gonna... When you spawn, go to the right and do an edge clip where I did it. And then go over here, hit this switch. That skips the first half of the level. Wait a second, hang on. That, hang on, some, that's not right. Because don't I need to... Oh wait, no, 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 the two keys are here, right? Yeah, okay, never mind, never mind. We're fine. That's what you need to do. You're gonna drop down here, grab the yellow key, get on this elevator. I recommend just doing it this way. It's safe. Kill that guy and then get across. Use the yellow key here. Um, unfortunately, I do not have purple basketballs, but in case you don't either, I'm going to show you where some are. Because you... Okay. This is the only part in the game, and it's kind of stupid, but this is the only part in the game where you need purple basketballs. Kill this enemy and then get them if you, if you don't have any. But you should have some. I might, I might. Okay, it is a little bit faster to move the elevator up, get off, and then drop down. Or you can just uh, just ride it down. Doesn't really matter. Kill this guy, because he's going to drop down anyway, and he's going to bother you. Yeah, there is a freeze ball backup. I might link a video to it. I'm not going to show you. But anyways, you're going to dunk a purple basketball, and it'll ric ricochet off. If you can't get that, there is a strat with the freeze balls. I won't do it, but there is a, I might link a video to it. Alright. Switch to your baseballs. And then try to get a throw cancel off of one of those. And then you can kill that guy easier. Or more easily, I should say. And then my throw cancel is still activated. So I can kill this guy. And this guy has a red key. Now, rather than going back around, you can jump through this wall. There's a spring there. And then you can get out. Alright, you have one level left, and then you're done with the game. These last set of keys can sometimes be a problem to get. You can either dunk like that and get them, or if you need to ride that platform down. Um, but yeah, just get the keys. Okay. Okay. I'm just going to show you one way to do this because it's really fast. Um, okay, that's not the way. In fact, I'm kind of curious. I think you can just do this if you miss. If you miss... Okay, so where those silver keys were, you can just jump and then land here. If you miss, go to the left and hit the button and then ride it back up and get on this platform. Get some momentum, jump through, and you can go through that wall. Just go for it and you'll get it. That's really all I can say for that. Okay. If you have lives, I recommend going ahead and getting the checkpoint. Or really, I just recommend getting it anyway. Um, if you have trouble with the boss. But the boss isn't really too big of a deal. Okay, normally I would use um, bowling balls to hit those. Actually, you don't need the bowling balls anymore. You can also... <laughs> Sorry. Nice up clip. You can dunk basketballs here. If you just like go X to Y like that, you can hit it like that way. Okay, before you go in here, switch to your bomb balls. Normally you have more than what I have, but you're going to want to use these. You need to just use these. It's showtime. Okay. The only part of cranium that you can hit is the head. You can't if you hit him on the body, it doesn't do anything. So if you can, hit him in the head like that. If you have flame balls, switch to those and use those as well. And then, okay, so you see a ball on the ground now. He's going to throw those occasionally. You can pick those up and throw them back in a minute. It's the same as a bomb ball. However, you got to be careful because it could explode if you're not fast enough. 
practice the multiple, like practice throwing multiple basketballs. Which I'm kind of not really getting it, but that's okay. Okay, so. Time out. You see, there are goals on each end of the court. If you need health, keep hitting the baskets and you'll get some health. Okay, this is the last phase of them. There's four phases. This is the last one. Okay, when that happens, that means you're done, but your timer is not done. You don't stop the timer yet. So, when the screen goes completely black, that is when time will be. So you just wait, and time. That's that's the game. Yeah, so Flame does about two damage, Bomb Balls does three. Bombs five? Hmm. I always thought it was just the same, but may maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm wrong. And yeah, everything else just does one. Um, but yeah, that's that's the game. That's any percent. Um, I'm trying to think if there's anything that I seriously need to explain before I stop the tutorial. I don't think there is. I think I covered everything, or at least I hope I covered some stuff. Hopefully this game is a bit less intimidating now. Um, we have a Discord server for this game if you want to join that. It's on speedrun.com. You can look that up and you can ask questions. Um, yeah, right, right now there aren't very many resources out there. Bert has a guide for some of the more advanced strats and he has some videos for those as well. You can find that on speedrun.com. This is more of just... Uh, this is more of like a beginner tutorial. Well, I hope it's beginner. Uh, yeah. What is this link here? If it's important, I'll talk about it. Oh, okay. So some of these actually have names. Okay. Are you kidding me? It's, they're not called baseballs. They're called knuckleballs? That's so stupid. <laughs> Alright, whatever. I'm, ca I'm still calling them baseballs. Golden ones are heat seekers. Iron ball, black... Yeah, I'm not doing that. Um, smoking earthquake ball is what they call the bomb balls. <laughs> it's amazing. A hundred percent is, it used to not be that different from any percent, but now with the new strats and any percent, it's kind of different. Um, we might do a guide for a hundred percent sometime later, but not right now. <laughs> not, at this very moment, not right now. But um, if you have questions about that category, you can still ask in the Discord. Um, I'm going to put this video on YouTube and on Twitch, so if you need to ask me questions or if you want to leave a comment with a question or anything, you can do that. You can ask in the speedrun.com forums. But I think that's going to cover it for this tutorial, so thanks for watching the tutorial and good luck with learning the game.